you. Whew. Hello, thank you. Hi, hi, hi. So, a new VUCA. Well, um, many of you here will have heard of the, uh, the business term VUCA, but for those of you who haven't, it was invented in the 1980s by two leadership theorists and then taken up with the uh, US Army War College to train their recruits on specific external negative issues uh, or problems or threats um, to prepare them for combat. So VUCA stands for volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. Now, when I recently read up about VUCA, I was struck by how it took me straight back to a really dark time in my life, 2011, 2012, 2013. Um, I was extremely upset. I was anxious. I was depressed. And um, crucially, I was grieving uniquely for someone who was still alive, and that was my mum, because she had motor neuron disease. Now, motor neuron disease, or MND in the UK, is also known uh, as, in umbrella terms in the US as ALS. Um, and it's a neurodegenerative disorder. Uh, with ALS, you lose mobility, you lose speech, um, and ultimately, because you literally can't find the power to lift your lungs, you lose power of breath. So um, your body becomes a prison, but what you don't lose is your mind. You still hang on to your faculties. You're there all of the way. So um, having MND is, is uh, without a doubt, a daily VUCA situation. So what is VUCA, really? So um, V is for volatility, the nature and dynamics of change. MND is change. You know, for three years, none of our family knew what we were going to be waking up to in the morning. Meet Evelyn. In January 2012, uh, in her Victorian terraced house in Notting Hill, my mother had a visitor. So my dad and I would go downstairs to, to cook or nip out to the shops. And uh, in that time, this wild house mouse would come into my mum's office and sit with her on the first floor. And Janet was so still that um, she, uh, she didn't scare Evelyn at all. Evelyn was just never afraid. And, um, and I realize now that my mother copes with her VUCA world um, by writing down and sharing Evelyn's VUCA world. Um, my dad and I rarely saw Evelyn because we were humans, uh, but uh, my mum took on mouse powers. Okay? Uh, her notes looked like this because uh, by the end of the year, there were so many of them that her best friend, uh, who's a British designer called Francis Sowell, decided to illustrate some of them and type them up for her. But this is exactly Janet's text, and her, you know, she would have scrawled them out, and we just typed them up. Um, U is for uncertainty, um, unpredictability or lack of clarity due to lack of facts. Uh, none of us knew what would change for Janet, or, or when, mobility, speech, um, respiration, were all up for daily review. Uh, uncertainty was also experienced by the four-legged contingent of the household. C is for complexity. Um, interconnected factors that create an interdependent set of problems. Uh, if one day you're too weak to lift your soup spoon from the bowl of tomato soup to your actual mouth, uh, there's a knock-on effect, obviously. Mm. So I think this really illustrates um, Evelyn's VUCA world in terms of complexity. Um, Evelyn liked to go into the desk drawer next to where my mum sat. Uh, one day my dad shut the desk drawer and Evelyn couldn't open the desk drawer and my mum was too weak to open the desk drawer. Um, so it's complexity in action. Don't worry though, because my mum wrote me this note, so I opened the desk drawer. Uh, a is for ambiguity. Um, we have all the facts, but uh, a lack of clarity or direction will um, create misreads. Um, and are our patients' needs m met truly and correctly if, uh, if communication is so incredibly hard? 
uh, I feel like this is a good illustration of ambiguity uh, in Evelyn's world. Um, Across the whole year, there was an entire dynasty of mice that would live in this first floor office. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting, but you know, I was on board with it. Um, uh, and m my mother always chose gender neutral names. Uh, first there was Evelyn, and then the shock of, of, of him having a companion, Leslie. And then we had Hillary and Jude, and then Minnie Mouse and Minnie Way. Um, and then I think walnut and framboise, which is French for raspberry, just because of the size, they were so tiny, they'd come and sit on her lap. Um, uh, Janet respected ambiguity. So while all this was happening, in October 2011, I took up a fun new hobby called improv. <laughs> uh, however, it did mirror my everyday misery and grief and, um, and I couldn't help but take it into the rooms with me. I must have been a nightmare to play with. Um, Vuka was a daily reality for me. And even if I'd have known about Vuka, I wouldn't have been able to uh, manage cons consciously my inner turmoil. It just might have prepared me for what was going on, I suppose. Um, but I knew in my heart of hearts that uh, improv was helping. Um, and through the pain, it was instilling in me a resilience uh, in my daily life. And recently, it hit me that VUCA, which is this incredibly useful scaffolding that allows us to examine external negative issues, problems, threats, um, doesn't support the internal resilience that is crucial for our well-being in order to be able to handle it. Because resilience is everything. It doesn't matter how brilliantly we prepare for a VUCA world if we don't have resilience. But resilience, however, is created by improv. It's maintained and supported by improv. Um, and by luck or intuition, I had found my secret weapon. Um, when I read up about VUCA, it actually it really hurt because, um, because knowing about the bump in the road doesn't fix the internal pain. And VUCA warnings, as I said, won't give you the resilience you'll need for VUCA situations. So, I hit pause on looking outward, and I created a VUCA scaffolding that looks inward. It's a scaffolding that champions internal resilience rather than s simply flagging up external threats. So, V is for versatility. Um, how we're going to prepare for volatility and for change. And versatile means adaptable, it means flexible, it means resourceful, and my dictionary says we admire versatile people because of their wide skill sets. So let's be open to change. U is for uniqueness. Uncertainty is inevitable. Um, we rarely know all the facts, but we can be certain of ourselves. Um, so do say, I'm unique, I'm authentic, I'm present, this is me. And it, interestingly and perversely, you'll give yourself uh, permission to fail, which will mean that you'll find out faster what works for you. C is for clarity and commitment. I replace complexity with clarity and commitment to keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Make a choice. Try not to get internally blocked through big picture overload. And finally, A is for accept and build. Um, begone ambiguity, hello, yes, and. It's improv's temple. It's, uh, it's the first and the last and the most complex and the most simple tenet of them all, right? Um, if ambiguity is the enemy, then let's accept the facts in front of us, the yes, and build on them, and. So, external negative forces in our lives aren't going to go away. But perhaps if we use this new VUCA to manage our internal equilibrium and enhance our personal resi resilience, we'll meet the original VUCA circumstances, such as a, a shut desk drawer, with positivity, good humor, and strength.
thank you very much.